The Moon Impact Probe (MIP), developed by the Indian Space Research Organisation (ISRO), India's national space agency, was a lunar probe that was released by ISRO's Chandrayaan-1 lunar remote sensing orbiter, which in turn was launched on the 22nd of October 2008 aboard a modified version of ISRO's Polar Satellite Launch Vehicle. It discovered the presence of water on the Moon. The Moon Impact Probe separated from the Moon orbiting Chandrayaan 1 on 14 November 2008, 2006, and crashed, as planned, into the lunar south pole after a controlled descent. The MIP struck the Shackleton crater at 2031 on 14 November 2008, releasing underground debris that could be analyzed by the orbiter for presence of water, ice. With this mission, India became the fourth entity to reach the lunar surface. Other entities to have done so are the former Soviet Union, the United States, the European Space Agency, Japan and China. Kalam's vision The probe was a product of former President Abdul Kalam's vision who felt that since the Chandrayaan orbiter was already going so near to the Moon, the mission would have more scientific relevance if the probe was included. He believed that the Moon could not be left to a few countries and that India should not be left behind. The Times of India also reported a political motive by former President Abdul Kalam as, He believed that if this was done, India could always stake a claim to a portion of the Moon. At the same time, the Indian Express reported Kalam as saying, No nation can claim the Moon as its own. The resources of the Moon should be a common property, and that is one of the aims of the Moon mission. Topic. Mission objectives The main objectives of the MIP were to demonstrate the technologies for reaching a specified location on the Moon, qualifying technologies required for any future soft landing missions, and scientific exploration of the Moon from close range just prior to the impact. The probe was designed to collide with the lunar surface and eject underground soil, which could then be analyzed by instruments on the orbiting Chandrayaan for the presence of water ice, and organic and other materials. Configuration and payloads The MIP carried three instruments Radar altimeter, which measured the altitude of the probe during descent and provided information on qualifying technologies for future landing missions. The operating frequency band was 4.3 GHz plus or minus 100 MHz. Video imaging system – acquired close-range images of the surface of the Moon during descent and before impact. The video imaging system consisted of an analog CCD camera. Mass spectrometer-based payload chase – measured trace constituents of the lunar atmosphere during descent. This instrument was a quadrupole mass spectrometer with a mass resolution of 0.5 atomic mass units and sensitivities to partial pressures on the order of 1.3 times 11 pascals. The probe used aluminium sandwich structure onto which the payloads were mounted. The probe attached to the mother spacecraft with a ball lock separation system which jettisoned the unit from the Chandrayaan. A solid propellant to orbit mortar nudged the craft into lunar orbit, while spin thrusters stabilized the orientation enabling imaging system to capture the descent profile. The probe's external surface had four oval shaped anodized aluminium plates measuring 120 mm by 180 mm, on which the image of the Indian flag was depicted, complete with the emblem of India and the words, Satameva Jayat. These plates were attached to each one of the four vertical sides of the probe. As per ISRO specifications, these plates had to endure a temperature range from 50 degrees Celsius and as high as more than 150 degrees Celsius. Topic. Mission chronology India launched the Chandrayaan-1 spacecraft using a modified version of the PSLV C-11 on of October 2008 from Satish Dhawan Space Centre, Sriharikota, Andhra Pradesh at 6.22 IST 052 coordinated universal time. .The lunar probe separated from CHANDRAYAAN-1, in a 102 km circular polar orbit around the Moon, at 20.06 IST on 14 November 2008. After separation, it first fired its spin-up rockets and then its retro-rocket to lower itself to an orbit intersecting the lunar surface. 
While descending, the MIP continuously sent information back to the Chandrayaan-1 orbiter which in turn beamed the information back to Earth. After a 25-minute controlled descent, it struck the Moon at 2031 IST, 14 November 2008 at a speed of 1.69 km per second approximately 6,100 km or 3,800 miles per hour. The crash destroyed the probe. It crashed into Shackleton Crater, at the lunar south pole, 89 degrees south 30 degrees west, at 2031 on 14 November 2008 releasing underground material that could be analyzed by the orbiter for the presence of water ice. <laughs> <laughs> Discovery of water On 25 September 2009, ISRO announced that the MIP had discovered water on the Moon just before impact. This announcement was made after the discovery of water was announced on September 24, 2009 by Science Magazine by the NASA payload Moon Mineralogy Mapper carried on board Chandrayaan-1. MIP discovered water on Moon before NASA's Moon Mineralogy Mapper. The announcement of this discovery was not made until NASA confirmed it. This gave the answer to the millennia old question whether there is water on or in Earth's Moon when it led to the discovery of water in its vapor phase by the Chase Chandra's Altitudinal Composition Explorer payload on board the Moon Impact Probe and complementarily in its solid phase by the Moon Mineralogy Mapper payload on board the main orbiter in the Chandrayaan I mission. This discovery class of finding by Chase was achieved by direct in situ measurement of the lunar atmosphere during the descent journey of the MIP to the lunar south pole, while M3 discovered water in ice form by remote sensing techniques. As water cannot retain its liquid phase in the lunar environment because of its own vapor pressure and the ultra-high vacuum prevailing there, it can be found in solid ice and gaseous vapor phases. While the Moon Mineralogy Mapper M3, a payload by NASA, on board Chandrayaan-I lunar orbiter has detected, by mapping almost 97% of the lunar surface using remote sensing techniques, the presence of water in ice form in higher latitudes especially in the polar caps, the Chase payload in the Lunar Impactor MIP has directly detected water in its gaseous form along 14 degree E meridian from 45 degree N to 90 degree S latitude, with a latitudinal resolution of around 0.10 an altitudinal resolution of approximately 250 meters from 98 kilometers altitude till impact. Topic. See also. Chandrayaan-1. Exploration of the Moon. LCROSS. List of current and future lunar missions. Lunar water. Selene. References <laughs>